Hey YouTubers, um, this video, this is going to be a, I guess you could call it a Disney video. I originally was going to do um, a video extolling the, the benefits of, of having a car while you're on vacation, uh, a rental car, uh, but there, there was something that I read online a couple days ago and it's kind of been bugging me, so I'm going to save that one for a later video. And I wanted to talk to you, I've read online... And it's not a rumor. It's it's real. It's in the works. It's going to happen. So it's not hearsay. Um, if you want, you can actually go to Screamscape.com and read about it. But Universal is planning to open a brand new park in South Korea. Now, does anybody else besides me find the whole thing a little problematic i mean south korea really of all the places you could pick to build a new park you pick south korea i mean at least when disney uh decided to go outside the states and you know build new parks they chose you know scenic popular destinations paris uh, Hong Kong, y y you know, sites that offered more than just their park, you know, other, you know, people go to Paris and there's tons of other things to do there besides Disney. So there's a lot of other things attracting business. Why Universal chooses to build in South Korea, I don't know, but there's so many problems with that, don't you? I mean, first of all, Let's take into consideration that a while back it was reported that Universal sunk a large, a huge chunk of money into building the, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it was rumored that if this, if this tanked, if that project tanked, that the, the whole company would be in dire straits. Now, from what I hear, the Harry Potter part is, is doing really good business, which is because the movies are so phenomenally successful. Whether you like Harry Potter or you don't, you have to admit that it's a phenomenon. The, the, the movies, every possible marketing angle, it is a phenomenon, it is drawing people in, it is making the money. So you just had that gamble you took, especially now considering that the two movies coming out now are the last two, as far as we know. Um... You know, you, you waited until the last half to finally put this piece of the park into action, and you took that risk. So that was a gamble, and it paid off. You had a while back, prior to that even, it, was, it came out in the news that Disney bought Marvel. So Universal has an entire theme land, the, you know, the Marvel superhero land, that basically Disney owns, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, you can, you can just picture the executives at Universal Studios that they're drumming up business with the Islands of Adventure and the big roller coasters, and they have a great theme, the superhero theme, and then all of a sudden Disney whips around and buys Marvel, and you can just picture these guys sitting at the table going, oh my God! <laughs> What can we do? We're getting hammered here. You know? So they had that whole big fiasco. So, you know, so their rights to use the Marvel characters and, and themes are limited now by Disney. That's that's great. So if Universal wants to... Exp I'm assuming, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but if Universal wants to expand that... They have to get permission from Disney. They have to pay Disney to use the Marvel characters to expand their park. So, you know, that's kind of a problem. And then they go and tackle this, what I think is going to be a really big debacle. They're going to go in to South Korea and build a park. Now, this is supposed to be located near Seoul in Hawaii... Hawassiang City. Um, I I apologize if I am totally butchering that, um, but they're they're planning to put in uh, 
you know, the theme park, the water park, hotels, uh, dining, golf courses, you, you know, all the all the major things that come with any um, mega enterprise theme park, you know, all, all the amenities that come with it. But since when did South Korea become a tourist attraction? Uh, you know, I mean, I'll admit that basically there's only two other places in the world that I would want to visit before I kick the bucket. There's only two other places in the world that I would want to visit. And South Korea isn't one of them. Who is going to South Korea? Why would you want to go to South Korea? With all the problems they have over in that part of the world? No way. And does anybody else find it convenient that you're building a park, you're building a mega center, a mega gathering center in a country that has a, a neighbor that wants to blow it off the face of the earth? I mean, boy, if, the, if, if having a park like Universal in South Korea isn't just a big, hey, North Korea, come bomb us. This is the place to do it. If you're looking to cause panic and casualties right here. I mean, really? I don't know. I, you know, it's going to be done. I hope it's not a failure. Because personally, I think the worst thing that could happen is to have Universal through whatever, whether it's a fault of somebody else or a fault of their own, go under. Universal Studios going under would be devastating, I think, to Disney. Why? Because if Universal was to go under or Disney was to buy Universal out, which, which you know, people have been speculating on that for years, if that was to happen, that would effectively eliminate competition for Disney. Let's face it. The only reasons Busch Gardens and SeaWorld do any business is because of Disney and, to a lesser extent, Universal. They would never be able to survive on their own down there. At least, that's what my personal opinion. If Universal was to go under or be bought out, there's no competition for Disney, and then there's no reason to strive for excellence. There's no reason to be innovative, because there's in competition is why there's so many new things and why everything is at the pinnacle of upkeep. It Because you don't want to lose business to somebody else. So I think Universal doing this folly in South Korea could be a potential hazard to the whole company. And really, even though it's Universal in South Korea, that could affect all of us that go to Disney in Orlando, in Florida. I, I really think it could affect us big time because when there's no competition, companies stagnate and there's no progress because there's no need to make any huge progress. Nobody's going to buy you out. Nobody's going to take you over. Nobody's stealing business from you. So uh, that's that's my take on the whole situation. Uh, I, if, if you have any thoughts... Make a video, throw it up, uh, post a comment. I'd really like to know what other people think. Like I said, South Korea? Really? <laughs> I don't know. It, you know it's, it's like one of those, it, you know, it's, it's one of those blue collar moments where you just go, what? You know, so, um, so let me know what you think. And thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate, uh, I've been getting some really nice uh, comments, letters. I, I really appreciate all the support that you people have shown. It, it's nice that even even a schmuck like me can get on YouTube, make a video, and and you know, you know, entertain somebody for ten minutes or so. Okay, um, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.